I wasn't sure if I was uh, if it was a cramp or some more significant. So uh, just let a couple more innings play out and and um, go inside and swing a little bit, see if I could uh, could do it. And um, I, I thought I had enough in there to finish the game at least. What told you afterwards that it was something more significant, that it was maybe a bigger issue? Um, well, in the, in the middle of the game, you got your adrenaline, you got uh, uh, everything pumping, especially to want to uh, stay out there. So uh, once you settle down and uh, get undressed and shower and whatnot, um, you know, that's when your gauges are a little better and things start tightening up if, um, if they're not right. I don't like it at all. I mean, I just... Uh, just worked for six weeks to get here, plus the off season. So you know, much rather this would have popped in in spring training, but um, uh, that's where we're at. So I uh, don't have to start from scratch when I come back. But um, you know, just gotta build everything up, make sure everything's ready to go when I'm back. The Yankees have just been decimated by injuries lately, and they are major players on this team. John Carlos Stanton, as we know. Aaron Hicks still down in Tampa, not doing any baseball activity. But according to Aaron Boone, he is feeling better. Luis Severino with that right rotator I issue. Dellen Betances did throw a bullpen yesterday. They are hoping to see him sooner rather than later. And as we learned at the top of the show, Miguel and Duhar also headed to the injured list. So now this is an opportunity for some other players that have come up to Scranton from Scranton. Jack, you mentioned that Tyler Wade was coming to fill the place of Miguel and Duhar. Also, Clint Frazier is here filling in that outfield role. Frazier actually got the call when he had just landed at the airport in Scranton. Kevin Reese called him and told him he is not going to Scranton. He is heading to New York, and he is not in tonight's starting lineup. But it goes without saying, he is excited for the opportunity, especially considering the fact that he lost the majority of his season last year due to that concussion and concussion-like symptoms thereafter. Feels about as good as my debut. You know, I mean, I'm, I, I went through a hard time last year, and unless you've gone through the experience yourself, you don't really know how to, I don't really know how to explain it, you know. So it, it was a really difficult time, and it, it means a lot to be here. And, you know, my mom's with me here, so hopefully we're going to soak up the moment together. You've been a guy that's always been known to play hard. Have you adjusted the way you play in the outfield at all because of that situation with the concussion? I've only been faced with really one situation, you know, and I tried to rob a home run in spring and, you know, had a little collision with the wall. But, you know, I did a lot of stuff in the offseason to prepare myself for another situation in case I do run into the wall. So, you know, going hard is ingrained in my, my DNA, and it's something that, you know, I'm probably going to have to figure out over time to, to manage it. But I think it would make me less of a player if I toned it down a little bit. What are your expectations for your time up, your time up here? I'm going to try to make the most of it. You know, I mean, last year, Miggy got a chance to come up here, and, you know, he ran with it. And, you know, I'm going to do the most that I can to, to be ready every opportunity that I have and, you know, try to show this club that, you know, I, I, I can do a little bit more than talk. I can back it up. So hopefully it comes this time.